What's poppin' players? Welcome back to a Two Penny Games review. Uh, I am your host, Tavin Bothell, here with my good friend and co-host. Say hello to the people, Phil Shoemaker. Howdy. Phil, you're our big reviewer this time, my friend. What have you been playing for us? Well, Tavin, I've been playing Marvel's Midnight Suns. Um, you know, it's 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 a XCOM-esque uh, game, turn-based. You 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 have your heroes that you select, and you 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 fight Hydra. You know, oh, and, and this this uh, old evil mm. uh, by the name of of Lilith, uh, and she's like making them all supernaturally evil and such. So you know, you got to call on the Midnight Suns, which I think is like, like a comic. Or something like yeah, it's, it's like a, comic a comic series, run. right? Okay, yeah, and ch- shout out to Blade just rolling out of bed with his undies on. And that, and that pretty, <laughs> um, weird visual bug. Also, Peter was not in the spider suit. Um, <clears throat> and then there, I was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing there, Blade?" Anyway, um, no, it's been a lot of. It's been a pretty good time so far. I'd say um, really satisfying as far as like all the hero abilities you have, like Blade. You have uh, he has really good life steal because you know he's a vampire. Um, Spider-Man's more like he's really agile and he, uh, he can like web up enemies to like hold them down for a turn so they can't move. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, they both also do really good damage. And then something I didn't expect, there's like a, a, a player character in this game. I didn't, I was not expecting to play for just a player character. I thought it was just going to be regular Marvel heroes. Mm-hmm. Um, granted, you don't have to bring your player character in, in every, uh, out, outing you can you can choose to to bring them i think you have to bring them in every story mission um but yeah i've been having a good time as far as um like the game like how it feels to play it's it's really satisfying it there's a really satisfying uh loop of the rules you have here you have uh you can play three cards in each in each uh turn um you have well, I shouldn't say you can only play three cards. You have three card plays. There are certain abilities that you can use that uh, are like quick abilities that refund card plays. So you can play, you can like combo more and more cards. Um, you get one little move for one of your heroes to move around. Um, you can use items, which I haven't really used that I'm really needed them. This game's pretty easy. Um, I'm playing on the normal difficulty, um, so I, I've, I've thought about doing a hard thing, but I don't know if there's any trophies tied to completing on the hard. So don't know if I will. <clears throat> Um, yeah, there, there's like, uh, I think the most satisfying part of it is like, there's a, uh, like a knockback kind of, kind of th- thing that you can do that. And also there's like a combo deal you can do as well. So a knockback, you can like throw one person into another person, um, for like massive damage. And it's really cool. Um, then the other thing, uh, the combo thing, certain heroes like Wolverine and Spider-Man, if you, uh, if one combo move will knock that person out, you can then chain it to another person. So like you just paint, you're like ping ponging all over the field, for, call, taking out like four people at once. It's pretty nuts. Um, the story is kind of just there. Mm. Uh, it's it. A lot of the dialogue is, is very cringe. Um, and it's not even, I mean, you, you'd expect kind of like silly haha dialogue from Spider-Man, but there's like a solid, two and a half hours where you're not, you, you don't even have Spider-Man in your team. Um, so it's like, okay, this, these, these quips are coming from people that aren't Spider-Man. Um, and I was like, this is kind of off putting. So mm. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not, I'm not really, not really into the, a lot of the dialogue. So I'm not really listening. I kind of just, there's like a, like a good and evil meter that you can, or like, it's not good and evil. It's like light and dark for your, your player character. And there's like certain dialogue options you can pick like while you're interacting with other heroes. Um, and, and pick that. And I kind of just pick the the light one by default. I don't listen to anything people are saying <laughs> just because, you know, it's, it's, it's uninteresting to me. Gotcha. The only thing that I, that I think is, is, is fun is just hopping in and taking down Hydra and comboing moves and getting through the story. The story is, I mean, like I said, it's, it's whatever. I actually just got, uh, I just got past a mission, uh, while I was recording this, uh, I got Wolverine just for like a, a little bit. He's probably one of the mo- one of my favorite characters to play with. Uh, Wolverine's super fun. He hasn't. He ha- I haven't gotten him into like the hub area to where you can like actually bring him with you on every mission. Um, but what I did play with him was fucking awesome. He's super satisfying. Um, him and Spider Man, I think, are my two favorites. <clears throat> okay, fantastic. Uh, talk to me more about the gameplay here, because it you say XCOM esque, but I'm seeing a lot of different systems and a lot of different things happening that are very different from XCOM. This game, yeah, by Fire Axis, so XCOM devs, but 
you know, you mentioned the card plays and you mentioned the uh, uh, the different abilities and so forth. A lot of this is pretty different from XCOM. So uh, break break this down for me. What am I watching here? Well, yeah, when I say XCOM here, it's it's more just like it's a uh, like a tactics. I should have just said tactics, not necessarily mm-hmm. XCOM. Um, so, you know, you have, like I said, you have your card plays here. You also have uh, redraws, which is basically like if you have a card in your hand that you use like, oh, that's kind of a dead draw. I don't want to use that. Uh, you can hold down the button and, and try for a different card. And, and you have like the, the, each hero has their own card deck. And so it shuffles them all together and puts them into your hand. Oh, okay. Um, and you, I yeah. assume you can edit each of these decks per hero? Yeah. So okay. so at, at the end of every mission, there's kind of like a loot box uh, deal. It's not like one that you can like, oh, you want you want to pay for for some more loot boxes? I, at least I haven't run into that yet, if there is that option. Um, but at the end of everything, I think they call them like fusion coils or something like that. And then they, they open them up. They open them up. Tony Stark opens it up and he unlock little abilities uh, that are these cards. And they can be anything. Uh, it Typically... The, co- the coil will only have heroes uh, that you had on that last mission for, for abilities that you can get drawn from. So, like, if you took, for example, Blade and Spider-Man with you in this last mission, it'll come... Uh, all the abilities will be either your hero hero ability, um, Blade, or Spider-Man. So it'll, it'll shuffle... Uh, I think at the beginning, it's just three random cards you can get, but then later, it's, it's four um, after you up- upgrade that. I don't know if it gets any bigger than that. I'm. I really. I've only put. I want to say eight to ten hours in this game. Okay. Just because that's just because like it's. I it kind of kept crashing on me. Oh. That's okay. one of the big issues I've had. A lot of technical um, bugs. Where, or what? I don't know. I don't really know. It's it's happened at different points of everything that I've done. So it's not like one thing that I keep doing causes a crash. Uh, I've had it happen where it was like uh, at the beginning of a uh, combat encounter, at the end of a combat encounter. Um, in the middle of a like training sequence, because there's like you can like spar with your with your hero friends and like up uh, they'll get like a small buff for their next outing. Um, so I had one at the end at the end of one of those. Um, it's just it's really strange. I don't I can't really pin down exactly what's crashing with it or okay. what the issue is. Well, it all sounds gameplay related and so forth. Yeah. Um. Uh. It's what was I gonna? I lost my train of thought. So uh, at the at the beginning of the footage that you've been showing me here, I saw uh, there's just like some like follow a character around third person camera behind your back type thing. It looked like with mm-hmm. your player character or whatever. What, what yeah. is all that about? There's a hub that you go back to. What's going on there? Yeah. So it's like a it's like a big mansion that you and all your hero friends live in. Um, and you're like I said, I was not expecting for there to be like a player character in this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basically, like you, you've been awoke, uh, awakened by the Midnight Suns to, oh, th- this person took out this ancient evil before. Let's awake him and bring him back. And you're like, you're like the the ancient evil's kid or something like that. You're like, you can pick a male or female. I chose a male just because I'm a basic bitch. I uh, I'm kind of regretting picking the male because I think. Uh, there's more interesting stuff if I did pick female because at least that's what like the I think that's what like the box art is. It's a female lead, but I don't know. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, <clears throat> I should have done that, but I didn't realize that. So it's too late. Anyway, yeah, you go and you you basically talk to all these heroes and you like build relationships. It's like a um, there's like a friendship uh, level that you can get with everybody. <clears throat> and like I was saying earlier, some of the dialogue options will uh, either improve or uh retract i don't know i don't know what the what's the opposite of improve uh uh, uh degrade i don't degrade, know degrade yeah it'll either improve or degrade your your friendship level with uh that hero i think i'm like friendship level one or two with like spider-man and blade just because i hang out with them most um there is also a, a kind of a little bit of an incentive to bring other heroes on your uh outings with you mm-hmm. uh like they'll they'll be like Oh man, I'm feeling really left out. Will you, uh, and I'll give you a bonus if you bring me with you next time or something like that. Um, like I had that with Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider has a very interesting move set. He has it's very like high risk, high uh, high risk kind of mid reward. Okay. Kind of deal like like all of all of his uh, abilities hurt himself. Oh. Like all, okay. almost all of almost all of his abilities. He has one like life steal thing. That's kind of neat. And his like ultimate hero ability is really cool. He like because it's like the um the car ghost rider it's not the bike ghost rider gotcha um so like he'll it's called like hell ride and you basically fucking go in, in a straight line it's kind of like a wide area sorry i bought my microphone and you fucking just drive through all the people 
gotcha. with with your, with this card. It's pretty neat. But now, yeah. as a big thing with uh, XCOM was positioning of units and line mm-hmm. sites and so forth. This just kind of looks like the positioning doesn't matter as much. Am I wrong in that? Just from the you're, eyes, or? you're not wrong from what I've experienced. Positioning isn't a big deal. Like cover isn't a, isn't a isn't a thing in this. Huh. Um, so it's kind of like they'll each enemy will target whatever excuse me my nose kind of stuffy uh each enemy will kind of target whatever hero they feel like uh-huh. um and then you can you there's other cards that have like a taunt uh ability which will uh cause them to then target whatever initiated the taunt if they're like within a certain radius um there's also like other like status conditions like marked there's like stunned there's like dazed which is interesting because if if a lot of uh Days you're not really inflicting on the enemy, it's more them inflicting it on you. And it's basically like you can't use this hero's abilities first. You have to use like at least one or two other abilities before you can use this person's abilities. Because then it'll like remove the days. It's like a temporary stun. Rather than a whole turn, you know. Um but yeah, it's 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 not bad. Also, like a, a lot of the, the like splash screens here are kind of neat. Like, it's kind of cute. I don't know if you saw Sabertooth that said the second best at what he does, and then when Wolverine came, came up, it said the best, the best at what he does. The best at what he does. Cute. Yeah. Um, so a lot of those are kind of cute, but a lot of the, like, just back and forth dialogue is kind of, like I said earlier, kind of cringe. Mm. Okay. All right. So, uh, overall, like, who is this Who is this game best for? Is it best for XCOM fans? Is it best for strategy game fans? Marvel fans? Superhero fans? Like, what... If if who who should play this game? I'd say probably uh, like if if you're a fan of strategy games and a fan of the Marvel universe, like as a whole, um, you probably have a good time with this. I I I would say for me, this is I know we don't really usually do numbers, but like you say all the time on the podcast, it, we've had a lot of seven out of tens in this game. I would I would probably say it's the same with this game. Definitely seven um, out of ten. Yeah. Certain certain technical issues, uh, like plenty of cringy dial cheesy dialogue. And a, a pretty, a, a, I'd say like mid level rewarding game loop. Like I'm, I'm having a good time. Um, but that being said, I've kind of been having more fun playing through Arkham for fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, the, and then the, well, I, the XCOM games were always like 30, 40 hours long. So do you see this? I, I imagine this is about the same amount of length. I think I saw reviewers somewhere. Yeah. Reading, hitting upwards of 80 or something like that is i the, don't know is this is this game loop enough to carry you even to the 20 hour mark um i'm kind of just interested to see like who all is in this cast of characters uh-huh and just seeing how they all play because like there's some uh some of them that i haven't had that i hadn't really touched before uh going in and trying to record this stuff and messed around with they're actually more fun than i thought they would be like mm-hmm. nico minoru i think she's from like the runaways series or something like that she's got like this the staff thing Don't know. she's 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 like a really interesting like kind of mage class which is like um she has a, a gimmick where like all of her cards do like a random amount of damage or a random amount of a like a random status ability so it's mm-hmm. like it'll be b- between like a, a really low level damage a mid-level damage and a really fucking high level damage and it's it that's that's like an interesting kind of thing. I'll, I'll throw her in my party every once in a while for like the side missions and stuff, because like I, I'm interested to see like oh man, this fucking 140 damage thing doing that's basically like two people's health bars. Let me just go ahead and bring that. That's pretty interesting. And then there is uh, magic. One of the I think she's like the new mutants or something like that. Uh, she's she's really cool. She's like the Russian girl. She got I think she got played by Anya Taylor Joy in that new movie. Mm, okay um she's really interesting she can like teleport people and you can make like a, a portal to like go across the map even though distance isn't really an issue like you know in XCOM, um the distance from an enemy actually mattered yeah um as far as like when you how much damage you did if they could hit you back if like all that kind of stuff that doesn't matter here uh, you, you basically just choose an ability and then choose where you want that ability to hit and they'll just run to that part and then hit that Person. So are we so hitting? Portal thing isn't a are we hitting deal. just? I'm sorry to cut you off. Are we hitting just a more accessible uh, type of strategy game because we're, yeah. we're Marvel? Because we know we'll we'll draw in crowds for superheroes and stuff. I would I would definitely say that. Yeah, I'd say it's a more accessible, um, easier, e- e- much easier tactics based uh, X card. Fuck you up. Yes. <laughs> if you're unprepared and you dive into XCOM, you'll get fucked up. Yeah. 
there's no like all there's also like no like re- resource management at least not really uh mm. for uh for like there was an XCOM like there's certain things that but it's really only just for uh like card upgrades um, okay so they're they're use. basing they're basing their loop around getting more powerful via getting card upgrades through training or mm-hmm. or or just through experience and right. working on this relationship system but if the yeah if the dialogue is cringy and you're not really paying attention to the story, then you're not really getting much out of it. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, All right. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I, I think disappointed's too harsh of a word. Okay. Because like I, I, I'm underwhelmed. Okay. All right. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't it, even even to me because I was excited for this game, but uh, as the reviews hit and then now I'm as I'm hearing you talking, yeah, I'm not so sure if. Uh, if if this is in my immediate if this is in my immediate future and then it'll probably just get lost to the backlog for me personally yeah um especially if the tactics element is super simplified and and stuff but it's mm-hmm. nice to hear that it, it sort of promotes uh experimentation and playing with new characters yeah. and so forth there there is there is definitely incentive to uh to try new heroes and 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 get surprised by what they can do i like the style the style like they just did like what yeah is that? what was that attack that was, so that was actually a combo move uh-huh. uh, for my hero and Wolverine. Okay. Well, that looked yeah, that looks I don't cool. know. I, like I think I think that only pops up whenever you hit uh 10 heroism. There's like a little meter on the bottom. That's like also another little um gauge that certain hero certain cards that you do will either make you gain heroism or they'll cost heroism. Um so that combo move I I think I've only gotten There was one that I had between Spider-Man and Nico. There was one that I had between um spider-man and captain marvel i think Mm. and then there was that one between me and wolverine there was another one i think between me and our iron man at at some point do Um, they but yeah they're like they're like high damage moves and they'll take a they'll like take a lot of heroism to do awesome uh do they address you you mentioned you you put spider-man and captain marvel in the same sentence so i immediately like i went okay well those are two different power levels uh do they address different power levels uh, with heroes traditionally, or is it just, hey, we're going to build unique skill sets around heroes, and then power level, they're all about the same? Yeah, I would say it's more just like they all have just unique skill sets. Okay. Um, Captain Marvel, that being said, is is kind of over- overpowered. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, so like she, she has this thing. So like what's I think the most uh, overpowered thing is what you can see in the footage right here is you can add uh, a protection barrier on yourself. And... She'll get that uh, certain cards that she'll do. She'll gain a protective barrier based on how much damage she does. Mm -hmm. And then she also has like a a passive, which after I think uh, after she uses uses three of her moves, it's it's just like three turns go by after you use one of her attacks. And then she'll become I think she called it like binary. I think that's what it's called. That might be something in in the comics or something like that. But she gets like that huge fucking aura around her. She gets like a, a huge protective barrier. And um, she has one of the most overpowered attacks in the game, which is just one of her basic abilities, which is just a, a line plasma blast that goes throughout the entire fucking map. And it does oh, wow. it does a shit ton of damage, too. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's like it's like the ultimate ability for uh, fucking Ghost Rider. But it's like just a, a one of the I think it's still a hero what they call a heroic ability, but it's like one of her easiest ones she also has uh her and spider-man have a really cool card i think uh wolverine has it too uh it basically lets you use one card to draw like two or three of that other hero's cards again um okay. and then that that can combo into using what I, like i said earlier a quick ability so you get a card play refunded so you can just keep comboing and comboing that's cool. so okay yeah there's like a cool like you can kind of break the game a little bit now how in depth or advanced is the is the card deck building because uh, you know uh, the the most recent uh, card game that I played was Marvel Snap, mm-hmm. um, but you know I've played others of course. But uh, it would be like certain cards. It'd be like, hey, place this. It doesn't activate until the next turn. Place this. Uh, if you don't play another card next turn, then this one is more powerful. Uh, or you'll put a card in your deck that's like, hey, this w- you will draw this first every time or something mm. like that. Is there that level of complexity to it? Or is it just, hey, here's a cool move that does this? Not really. There's um, 
So uh, as far as deck building goes, there's not really any incentive. Like as uh, like, there's nothing that'll. Oh, you use this card, you get something uh, else to your uh, hand on the next turn, or like there's uh, there's not really anything you can do to influence what you draw besides what I mentioned earlier, where certain characters will have uh, cards that'll add that character's cards to your hand after using that card play. Um, so yeah, there, there's nothing, there's nothing as deep as, as Marvel snap. Gotcha. That would, cool. Like, like earlier. Okay. All right. Interesting. Well then like, are you actually like going into your decks and like customizing it or is it just, you're just kind of like, Oh no, no, I definitely, I definitely go in and, and customize it. Cause certain, certain cards, um, like like I said, they like certain cards will have like knockback. Certain cards will add yeah. a taunt. So like not not all of them are are as good. Like there's there's three I think categories to cards. There's like attack cards. There's skill cards, and um, heroic cards. Um, so like the skill card would be something like what I said earlier with the um, using this card and draw like three other cards of this character, or like um, it'll add a taunt to uh, to yourself. So it'll make all the enemies that target you instead of someone else. Um, attack car- attack cards will be anything like one like I said one of those quick attacks where like it'll re- uh, make you regain a card play. There's um, another attack card is like I said earlier where you can like chain a bunch of uh, enemies to like die all together. Mm-hmm. Um, then heroic ones would be like um, your ultimate ability, like your big time abilities, like what I said for um, uh, Ghost Rider's big car attack for Captain Marvel's uh, beam. Um, Spider-Man has like a, uh, call, I think it's called just thwip where basically you just wrap somebody else with somebody up with a web. Um, now you, you, you were speaking on, um, the game's pretty easy, pretty accessible, all of this. Do you find yourself and, and, you know, things like positioning and distancing, not mattering so much. Do you find yourself going, uh like redrawing a lot or going oh fuck i have a bad hand or like is there any like challenge in the implementing of your next move or anything like that do you know what i'm saying um there are some issues at that point there's some some challenges there um like i'll sometimes find myself uh without any decent like i'll I'll have a couple skill cards that aren't really uh of use to me at that point so i'll be like okay let me see if i can draw like a quick attack see if i can do a couple combos um, or let me, um, see if I can try for like a stun so I can lock this enemy. That's kind of giving me issues. Cause there's like, there's regular enemies that are Hydra and then there's villains. Like, I think they're the only like big villains that I've run into have been Sabretooth, like what we just saw and, um, Venom. Mm. Yeah. Well, there's more, there's more to come. I know that much. For yes, sure. definitely. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, cool. And then is is your squad just always a squad of three every time that i that i've been seeing as far as i know i I, it hasn't gotten any more than three okay okay all right interesting well phil anything else uh you want to leave us with with uh marvel's midnight suns um no i think that's about it it's i mean it's a it's a decent it's a decent time um i think the the most i mean really the the RPG like talking to people isn't isn't nearly as satisfying as I'd like it to be. Mm. Um, it's really just all about the the action for me, and at least when it comes to this game. Okay, all right. Is this a a full recommendation or a wait for sale? How are you feeling on it? Uh, I'd probably wait for a sale. Wait for a sale. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, for uh, hopping in on uh, that with me here, Phil. And thank you so much, everybody else for listening back at home, listening and watching. Remember you can get this podcast, uh, at youtube.com slash two penny games, where you can find the breakout reviews by themselves, or they're attached to the two penny games cast, which you can find live every Monday at 8 AM central time, youtube.com slash two penny games, or mainstream podcast services of your choice, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, etc. Uh, until next time, everyone have a great time, and Phil, say goodbye to the people. Technical issues be damned. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>